So I think as a result of the pandemic and also exacerbated by Russia and Ukraine, we've been dealing with a very different macro environment to the one that we've, be, we've had in the last 12 years post the GFC. One of kind of low growth, low inflation and low discount rate. Um, so the result has been a meaningful and rapid rise in inflation, requiring central banks in most, uh, most of the major economies to have to wind down their vast stimulus and um, rise interest rates. First and foremost, we've remained kind of focused on uh, implementing our selection criteria, which includes a big focus on free cash flow. Um, this has helped us to navigate three very challenging years through the markets. Um, we've also been able to leverage our talented and experienced regional experts. And um, this kind of started in mid-2020, where through the kind of volatility of the markets and frequent shifts in market sentiment, we started to move our exposure from uh, longer duration, best performing assets such as tech, um, into more into stocks and sectors that are less reliant on an abundance of cheap capital and kind of have a longer term theme um, that should be accelerated through reshoring and energy transition. Um, so it's validation of all of the investment into our equity team that's been going on for the last decade, the commitment to our process, and more effective collaboration across the five regional teams. Um, I think this has been really evident in the returns delivered across all of our equity funds, and we are fortunate to have a very talented and experienced team who all buy into the process and enjoy working together.